Sophia. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. Are you happy it's Friday? Yes. Very good. Yeah, I'm happy it's Friday too. <laughs> So, any plans for the weekend, Sophia? No, I don't have any plan. All right, you're staying home? Maybe, yes, maybe I, I will watch in a movie or something. Right. Okay, nice. Just relax it, right? Yes. I think December is very um, difficult for you guys, right? Mm, some areas, yes. Ah, okay, all right. But for me, I think no. Oh, really? Okay, that's yes. good. All right. So what's your area? I am customer service. Oh, okay, all right. And do you like, do you use a lot of English when you are at your job or not really? Um, for some, for some things, I use a lot of English. Okay. For example, for the platform I use, mm. it's in English. Oh, really? Yes. And the, um, the, I don't know how to how do you say the the client so uh, client when you have some some problem okay support yeah like support yeah you have to like give them support, support. Uh -huh. it's in English because oh. the, the platform is from the United States right yes I hear all right okay interesting very good. All right, thank you, Sofia. Good morning, Exa. Good morning, Franklin. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Carla. Good morning. How's everybody today? Are you guys happy it's Friday? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm happy it's Friday too. Very good. We we'll have to teach all day today. All right, very good, guys. So welcome to class. Thank you for joining, uh, joining me and joining us one more morning. And we have one more week, I think, and a, a day or something like that. All right, so guys, yesterday we were talking about models of uh, possibility or probability, all right? And we were looking at some of them and we were saying that they have a degree, all right? Some of them, some of them go from a slight degree all the way to this, uh, like a slight possibility to all the way to a strong possibility. When we talk about the slight possibility, do you remember which... Um, model verse we used yesterday or we were talking about yesterday remember some of the uh, model verse that we used when we talk about slight possibility when we are not so sure that they're gonna happen may might could. may might very good and then in the middle we say it's could all right and what about the strong possibility which is almost certain may with certainty may and might is like uh possible right could and then what is the one that you say oh that's the one that we use for certainty do you remember did you say might franklin i mean i'm franklin exa or may may all right, okay, so here, uh, I'm just gonna show you this one here, guys. Just give me a second, just so we can review them. Just give me a second, all right. So here, these are the ones that we were talking about yesterday, all right, and they just go from a slight to strong possibility. So here, as we were saying, Exa was saying, may and might is the slight possibility. Could is in the middle, and then must is a strong possibility. All right, this is the one that we are almost certain that something is going to happen, that the possibility of this situation to happen is almost 100%, all right? I mean, it's 100%, but we say 
because it still belong to the possibility uh, or the possible model verbs, we can say it's a 99%, all right? But it, it's 100, all right? So it's like very close to being true. So this is what we talked about yesterday, all right? And then we had some exercises. So we're, I'm gonna show you the exercises we had yesterday so we can um, do them here. All right, let's see. We stopped guys here. These ones were the first one, I believe. These ones were the first one. All right, let's see. Which ones do you have for this one? And here we're using can, which also belongs to the slight possibility about like almost at the same degree of could. All right, so it's like, let's say we're in the middle here. So for number one, guys, what do you think it is? What would be the right choice, can or might? Any ideas? I think that could be can. All right. You think it would be can? Might. Might, you said, Carla? Yes. All right. Yesterday I was. One. Excuse me? Well, the first. first That's right. One. Yeah, the first one. Yes. Yes, yeah, see, it's might. Yeah, you wrote, I remember you guys wrote might. Might would be better than can, although it could be used depending on the context, because of the end of your sentence. It says, I'm not sure yet. So between might and can, the slightest possibility it would be might. Can is almost at the same degree of could, and could is in the middle, let's say, all right? And because it says here, I'm not sure yet, I'm thinking about it, so I would go better with might more than can. All right, because of the rest of the sentence. But at the end, it would really depend on what you want to say, the idea you want to convey. All right, let's see. Number two, who wants to do number two for me? Uh, hi, teacher. Morning. Okay, um, thank you. You couldn't smoke on the bus. Mm -hmm. On the bus. <laughs> okay, you think it's couldn't? Yes. All right. Anybody else? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Very good. Yeah. You couldn't smoke on the bus. Very good. Number three. I can't find my watch anywhere. I cannot find it. So what would the uh, model verbal possibility be with this one? Number like with, for number three. Could, may, or might. What is, this, what is the possibility of me losing the watch according to what says at the beginning of my sentence? I need to make my model verb of possibility match the rest of my sentence. I could have. Right, I could have lost it. Remember that could, the possibility of could on the chart that we saw could is like in the middle, all right? So the possibility of me having lost the watch is stronger than if I use may or might. And here I'm saying I can't find it, all right? So it's not like I'm not sure if I find it or not, it's I cannot find it. So between could, may, and might, <coughs> excuse me, the one that gives you a stronger possibility is could, a stronger possibility of having lost it. All right, so could would be better than may or might. Number four, who wants to do four for me? I can hear. He can be at home. I can hear some of He can be at home, right, very good, Exa, because you have can here, and if you are trying to make a match, the best one could be this one, all right? But I mean, as I said, it would really depend on the context of what you like you are or what you really want to say. If you are sure, a little bit more certain, or so, or like really uncertain, then you may use might also. So it's not that there is a wrong or right. It's like a more proper one than the other one kind of thing. All right. What about this one? Yesterday we were talking with the girls about Iota, right? The storm thing, the hurricane. And yesterday it stopped raining. I mean, it was it was partially cloudy in the morning. So based on that, the girls came up with a sentence here. All right, now, 
yesterday didn't rain. It's kind of like clear today. So what do you think uh, this one may be here, according to how the weather is today here in El Salvador? Might. Might. Yeah, it yes. might rain in this evening. Like this possi the possibility is a slight because it's kind of clear. It doesn't look so cloudy. It hasn't rained. I mean, it didn't rain all night. So you say it might, it may rain this evening, but maybe not. All right, so the possibility is slight. Very good. Number six, he can or could be French, judging by his accent. Cool. Yeah, could sounds better. All right, he could be French, judging by his accent. You listen to him and you say, oh, he's probably French. So he could be French. You're almost certain here. All right, so that's nice. Very good. Let's go on with this one. I didn't send you the uh, these PPT yesterday because I had the other exercises that we're gonna finish today. But I'm gonna send the presentation today for you when we finish it. All right, here we had these other examples using might, could, or may. All right, so the first example is this. Well, the, the example says, Mina might help me with my homework. All right, what about number two? John and Amy, what do you guys have for that one? And Amy. John and Amy, what do you have? Do you think might get a new kitten, could get a new kitten, or may get a new kitten? Might. Might. Get All, right. New kitten. All right. You can use might. Here is not really telling you anything else that you can like be a little bit more sure of the possibility, a little bit more certain. So you may go with that one, all right? Very good. What about number two? I, and the girls were saying yesterday they wanted to learn Korean. <laughs> cool. cool. Okay, I could study Japanese next year, all right? Or you can also say, I might study Japanese next year, depending on your possibility of next year. Remember that they also, um, they can also be used in future. And here you're talking about next year, all right? So you can use all of those in future also. What about number three? It would more depend on your situation. Number three, uh, Pavel or Pavel, uh-huh. Pavel, cool, try. Out for hockey next year, all right, he could. All right, very good, number four. This is more like depending on what you really wanna say. All right, what about four? Um, Sophia, what do you think number four can be? Mm, I could, uh, Daniel could not go to school because he's sick. Oh, all right, okay, could not go to the school because he's sick or any other possibility? Why? Yeah, he might not go to school because he's sick or he may not go to school because he's sick. Remember, it depends on the formality of the situation. If you're calling in the principal of the school, then you may use may, all right? But if you're like talking to like someone at home, you say, ah, he might not go to school because he's sick, because he's less formal. What about number five? Could she may? be your teacher? Say it again, someone said could, I think. May. May, may she be our, our, our new a teacher, you think May would be? Yes. Which one sounds better for you guys? May? Exa, what do you have for that one? Cool. Good, yeah. I think if you play by ear, could she be our new teacher? You're kind of wondering, all right? If she's there on the room already, so the possibility of being our new teacher is stronger because she's there, all right? So could would be, it would be better because of the whole context. She's in the classroom already and you see her, all right? So the possibility is a little bit stronger using could than using may or might, all right? So could is better. It's a better option for this one. Number six, we try this new restaurant tonight. What do you guys think? <clears throat> may, may. Okay, depending if, okay, cool. later, right? yeah. I guess it would depend if you're on a new date, all right, and you start, you want it to sound very proper and very formal, you may say, we may try this restaurant tonight. 
But if you're like you're with your friends or whatever, you say, hey, we might try this restaurant tonight. It's, it, sound, it's, it looks good, you know? It sounds interesting, all right? So you, you can use between may and might, depending on the possibility uh, and the formality of the situation. What about number seven? Louise and Pierre. Cool. Could get married in the spring. All right. All yes. right. All right. Or may get married in the spring also. This is like possibility also going on here. Number eight. Could that be our bus? Yeah, could but. sounds better. Could that be our bus? Because it's coming and you see it. So the possibility is a little bit stronger than may and might. The bus is coming, you see it. Number nine. Might. They might. They might. might not be ready to take the test. the test. Oh no. All right. Very good. May, might. They could not be ready. That sounds a little strange. They may not be ready to take the test. Again, depending mm, on who may. you're talking to. May or might would play just well. All right. Very good. So if you notice, guys, a lot of these um, sentences you can play, like the difference between them is because of the context who you're talking to, how probable or how not probable these situations is going to happen, all right? But for the rest of it, it's pretty much like you say it depending on the context. But it's good for you to have like the knowledge of may, might, could, and must also, all right? I want to show you this one here. Here we have these ones. We have might, we have may, could, can't, or can and must here. And I just want to go over this one. It's like, this is like, we did not see this yesterday, but I want you to see it. When you are not sure of something, as we were saying, you may use might, may, or could. When you are sure something is possible or true, you, might, you use must, all right? Whereas when you are not, when you are sure something is not possible, or not true, you use can't. All right, when someone, like something happens at your job, for example, you say, oh, it, this can't be happening, all right? If, for example, someone got fired at your job and you say, oh no, this can't be happening, all right? It's like, oh my goodness, this is like, like amazingly things happening, all right? So what I want you to do this right now is as change the sentences, all right? Let's see. Um, I want to try someone here. Carlita, Beatriz, I have this sentence. It says, perhaps England will win the, ne the next World Cup. All right? Mm -hmm. you try to you look at the word perhaps. Can you try to change it with might, may, could? And try to say um, the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, may. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Um, England will will win the next world. The next world England, Cup. England maybe will win the next World Cup. All right. Okay. So you're using May. Exa, what do you think for that one? Which one would you use? Mm, may or my. Okay. So um, England may will. Uh, win the next World Cup? Yes. All right, okay, very good. Look at this one right here. Heavy rain is possible this evening. Might, may, or could. We, like, read the context. Which one would you use? Anybody? Cool. All right, yeah, could, because the, possible, the possibility is a little bit stronger or higher. All right, very good. So here we have, uh, change the sentence, use might. That's what you guys chose. Perhaps England will win the next World Cup. England might win the next World Cup. All right, so we use might in that sentence. This one, uh, it, right, we use could, right? Rain is possible this evening. It could rain this evening because the possibility is a little bit higher. And that's how you go about the rest of the sentences here. All right, uh, let me see here, hold on. All right, let's see. This is what we're going to do right now, guys. Just give me one second. I want to see something here. 
teacher. Yes. And uh, do you send the presentation today? No, I, I will send it today. I didn't send it yesterday because I wanted oh. to finish it today with this, what we're like looking at right now. But I'm going to okay. send it today. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. All right. Let me see this guy here. Hold on. All right, this is what we're going to do right now. I'm gonna send the presentation as it is because it's like very, very long uh, because it has a lot of examples, but you guys can see it later. All right, I just, want to, I just want you to do this right now. I want you to go to your groups, all right? We're not very many this morning, but I want you to go to your groups and I want you to come up with sentences using may or might, all right? Could and must. It depends on the situation that you guys want to talk about or you're talking about so try to make a sentence with may because it's a little bit more formal than might so one for may one for might one for could and one for must all right try to do those right now then we're coming back and we're going to start with the other uh model verbs today that express obligation prohibition and um what's the other one obligation prohibition and i can i can't remember the other one but we have three all right, so go right now with your groups and write a sentence using may, might, could, and must. Here we go. Uh, there's gonna be one group with three people in it. Whoops, hold on, there we go. There you go, guys. You may start joining your groups as soon as you can.
Perfecto, esa es la actitud de ella y como ella luchó contra la enfermedad, fue bien. Vale. Humanity. Humanity. Right. Sure. Hi, are you finished? No, teacher. No, teacher. That's okay. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. The sentence. Yeah, you're supposed to work with the sentences today. Hey, I, I, I didn't take a picture. I can. Oh, good. We didn't. I didn't um show you anything today. I just want you to come up with uh four sentences. On your own, uh, using you. may, using might, could, and must. Ah, okay. All right, just like those like simple sentences that show or that demonstrate possibility, all right? Okay. okay. All right. So I'm going to go to another group to check how they are doing, and then we're coming back to the main group because I want to show you the other presentation, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Sophia's by herself, okay. What happened to Sophia? <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Hi. Hi, Sophia, can you see me? Yes. Oh, all right, that's strange. I just got a message saying that I couldn't activate my camera, but I can see it. All right, very good. Sophia, you're by yourself. What happened? Were you alone? Mm, yeah, I was with Fran, but oh, he got disconnected. He, no, he, I I don't know. <laughs> he he's told me. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask something, and then he left. He, yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Yeah. All right. Blanca just came in to class, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna ask her to work with you. Just give me a second here. Yeah. Let's see if Blanca can join us. Did you do you have like any sentences with um with Francisco? No. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, Sophia, you may start. Like, uh, I can help you make some sentences if you want. Let's try to make one with, with May. Excuse me for a second. Oh no. Let's try to make one sentence using may. Okay. Um. Let's think about like, um, I don't know, if you say uh, something that might be possible or very like the possibility of happening this weekend is very, very slight, like very tiny. Okay. And it may be it may be Mm. No, it's a... <laughs> okay. I can say, for example, I may go. Um, I may go to the park. All right. So my possibility is very, very slight. All right. So I'm not very sure I'm gonna go. I really don't want to go out. <laughs> All right. So I say I may go to the park. All right. Okay, it may be, I may be go to, to dinner with my friends tonight. Okay, you may go, uh, you can say, I may go to dinner with my friends tonight. It will depend if you feel like it, if it's not raining, if you have money, it, it depends on many situations. So that's very good. So that 
the possibility of you going is very slight. All right, so very good sentence. I may go, all right, very good. Remember that may mm. is a little bit formal than might, okay? Yes. All right, what about M might? Might, um, I might ask for help in my work today. Sure, yeah, okay, very good, you might, okay? The possibility exists, all right? Something comes up and you don't know how to deal with it or what to do with it, then you might ask for help, very good. Thank you, what about could? I could, I could, I could, <laughs> I could watch a movie in the, in the lunch, in my, in my lunch. All right, okay, yes, all right. I could say I could clean the house, <laughs> but i don't feel like it but i kind of have to all right mm -hmm. and the last one with must must um i'm sorry teacher um i have problem hello i'm sorry but i have problem with my internet that's okay francisco don't worry i was helping sophia here i was working with sophie <laughs> Okay. Thank All right. So, uh, Sofia and Francisco, you can work on the last one with must. Remember that must is like certainty. All right. I must okay. finish my work today because it's, you know, I need to give a report on Monday, for example. All right. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. May, my could must very good number one the teacher can you read it for me <laughs> um number one mm -hmm. the teacher may te teach us japanese language <laughs> okay but not me all right? if you want <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah very good you know a long time ago i began learning japanese but then i quit oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I did. The thing is like I got pregnant and I had a very difficult pregnancy. So I really couldn't go to classes. So it was like very, very difficult. <laughs> so I quit. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Number two. Hey, my boss may give us a Christmas gift. Oh my goodness, hopefully. All right. <laughs> All right, very nice. Number three. Franklin, you want to read number three? Yes, uh, Carla might play with her dog after work perfect very good yes nice number four you may go to cinema tomorrow yeah to the cinema tomorrow very good nice exa number five well yeah well carlita can read exa sentence <laughs> where's this exa okay and uh, exa could <laughs> could explain me the class again <laughs> all right exa could explain that uh could explain Okay, Exa could explain the class to me again. All okay. right, sounds better. Yeah, very good. Uh, that, that's like very Spanish, explicarme, explain me, right? So in English, we move it. The object receives the action of it. Very good, nice. Okay. And number six, Franklin. Franklin, read your sentence. <laughs> I could go to the beach with a, a, my, my girlfriend. Ah, Franklin could go to the beach with his uh, girlfriend, wife. All right. <laughs> well, decide. Is a wife or a girlfriend? <laughs> what happened, Franklin? Oh, my yeah, goodness, Franklin, you don't know? Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. If you say so, that's okay. He could go to the beach with his girlfriend. All right. Very good. Nice. Uh, number seven. Exa, do you want to read it? Mm -hmm. uh, you must pay attention in class. But I don't like the sentences, so <laughs> you, must, you must take your vitamins every day. Your vitamins, very good. You must take your vitamins every day. Yeah, very nice. Okay, yeah. And the last one, Carlita, can you read that one? We must start to work after class. We must start work after class. All right, very good. Nice. Thank you. All right, we're going to go back. 
All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go really quickly over the uh, adverbs also of like possibility and probability. All right, and then uh, we're gonna go with the other ones about obligation, prohibition. And what's the other one? And permission. All right, very good. That's the one I was missing. All right, so we're gonna go back. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Uh, hi guys. Okay, so here we're talking about. We. We'll, I just want to show you the uh, difference, the main difference about using a model of possibility or an algorithm of possibility. The usage will depend on you. When do you want to use a model? When do you want to use an adverb? It's up to you. All right. There's no rule that says you can only use model verbs of possibility, or there. There's no rule that says there's only. That you can also you can only use adverbs of possibility you can use either or depends on you but whatever you use you need to use it properly all right so here i'm just gonna take you here again just so you see it this is on the platform anyway if you notice here these right uh, of the left hand side we're talking about model verbs all right of possibility and we know that we use might or may, could and must, and whatever the verb is, is on the base form, because you're talking about model verbs, all right? But when you use adverbs of possibility, for example, maybe, perhaps, a, a possibly, probably, definitely, when, doesn't matter which adverb you use, you need to add the S to the, th I mean, here because we're talking about third person singular, all right? So maybe uh, he goes to, I don't know, the park, all right? So you need the S for third person singular here, all right? So let's say that that is like the biggest difference between the usage of models of possibility and adverbs of possibility. Then the, the verb that follows, the adverbs, they need to have the S, all right? Whereas the verb that follows the model verbs, they don't need to have an S, all right? They stay the same, all right? So that is the biggest difference here. Again, you can see the rest of the uh, video uh, to understand the other uh, rules that they talk about, but that's pretty much what it is. Again, here, if you notice, maybe and perhaps these are the slight possibility, possibly or probably, they're like, let's say in the middle, and definitely is here. All right, when you say, I definitely have to finish this, all right, you have no choice, you have to do it, all right? So that takes us to the next um, topic, which is, again, models of um, prohibition, obligation, and permission. Some of them, as I said yesterday, they are the same, all right? But the context is different, the usage is different. What you want to convey when you use them is different, okay? So that is what we're going to see right now. But before that, I just wanna I just wanna remind you, I know you know this, okay, but I want to remind you here with something about uh, model verbs, okay? This is what we have right now. We're gonna be talking about permission, obligation, and prohibition, okay? So here we have, what are they? These are the ones that we're, we're going to be using along with allow too, all right, also. So must, can and have to. Notice must, we used it on uh, probability. Can, we also use it somehow with probability, all right? But in this context, they are different. I mean, they are being used differently. Must make, it talks about permission. Can is an obligation and have to is a prohibition, all right? So we have these, th these three things here. Uh, before we do that, I wanna remind you about this. These guys is very important so you remember when you're talking about modal verbs. It doesn't matter what you are expressing with the modal verb. Maybe permission, obligation, suggestion, obligation, prohibition, probability, ability, doesn't matter. What you need to remember is that number one, modal verbs are invariable. That means they have one form only for everybody. 
I say I must, I say he must, you must, they must, uh, she must. It does no change for anybody. All right, modal verbs, they don't change ever. All right, another one that modal verbs are invariable is that they never, 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 you never add an S to the third person singular, never. All right, so whatever uh, modal verb that you use, these are like rules in general for modal verbs, okay? So I can say, for example, exa can swim. I don't say exa can swims, all right? I don't say that, all right? I don't say Carlita may goes to work. I say Carla may go to work. I say Blanca must stay home. I don't say Blanca must stays home. All right. So never the, a modal verb never will change to the uh, following verb or it won't change itself. All right. If you notice here, you say you must study, she must study, he must study. It's the same for everybody. Okay. Then another general rule for modal verbs are these ones. Modal verbs don't have do support or does or did or any auxiliary in interrogative and negative sentence. You can't do that. You cannot say, um, I don't can't, for example. And many people say that when they are learning English, when they want to say no puedo, they say I don't can't. All right, you can't do that. All right, the, the modal verbs, they are their own negatives. All right, they don't need any auxiliary. They are very independent, okay? So for example, or when you have questions, you use the modal verb to ask a question. You don't need an auxiliary. Here you say, must you study? Can I go now? I mustn't eat ice cream because I've got flu. I can't go out because my mom told me to clean up my room. So if you notice, you don't need don't, you don't need doesn't, you don't need did or didn't, you don't need anything. Only the modal verb is the one that is going to make either the negative or the question form. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah? All right. Do you have any questions so far? As I said, these are general rules for all the modal verbs, okay? All right, here we have another one. This is very, very important. Maybe at this level, we don't do like the mistakes that I just mentioned, but sometimes we still make this mistake and you need to be careful with this. It says after modal verbs, you use infinitive form of the verb without do. In other words, you use bare infinitive. Bare infinitive is the verb with no conjugation, but you don't add the to. The particle to, you don't use it. So for example, you say, I must sleep well. You cannot say, no, never, never, never. You cannot say, I must to sleep. No, I must to sleep well. No, it's not okay. I can to swim. It's not okay. You say, I can swim. All right, never add the to to the verb. All right, it's bare infinitive. Or you can say, for example, I don't know, she made to go. No, you don't say she made to go. You say she may go. All right, so never use the to unless you have, it has it with it, all right? Another thing that you need to remember, model verbs don't have the past participle form or the future tense or the ing form, all right? That you don't like make it. You don't use will or you don't use like going. All right, you just say can, all right? And must, for example, this one must, only must. You don't say I must going, you say I must go, all right? Or he must went, you don't say that, all right? So here, the exception, for example, have to is different. And this is one of the ones that we are gonna see today or like Monday, when you say I have to because it's an obligation or is uh, something that I need to do, I have to study, and I say he has to study. That one changes to third person singular, but only the has, not the rest of it. All right, you cannot say, for example, he have to go. No, you say he has to go. That one is an exception, that one changes. All right, but I say he has to study. 
the, what changes is the has, not the, not the study, all right? And this one, it already has to, all right? So you cannot omit it. So here you don't say he has a study. No, he has to study. Why? Because it already has it. So it's like joined together. You cannot omit it or you cannot separate them. All right, so this one is one of the exceptions here. All right, any questions about these guys? Questions about this, what we're talking about? As I said, these are general rules of the, um, of all the model verbs. It doesn't matter what you use them for. All right, these are just like rules, general rules for model verbs that you need to know. Any questions? No teacher. Sorry? No, not no questions? All right, very good. Okay. Because of the time, I just want you to look at this and take a picture of it, and then you can go to your groups quickly, and then you can talk about it. Before anything else, I'm not going to go over the grammar rules right now. We're going to do that on Monday, but I want you to think about this. With your partners in your groups, what can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? They're very different things. What can you do? All right. What are you allowed to do? What do you have to do? You can think of in your work or in your life. What can you do in your life, all right? What are you allowed to do or not allowed to do? And what do you have to do or don't have to do in life or at your work? Can you think about those sentences? You may take a picture if you want to. Uh, or, or you can make them negative if you want. You, what can't you do? what you're not allowed to do, and what you don't have to do, all right? Do you understand what you need to, uh, what are you gonna be working on your groups? Yes? All right, okay, so I hope you uh, got the picture here. So you're gonna go to your groups right now, and I want you to talk about the things that you can or can't do, that you are allowed to do or not allowed to do, and the things that you have to do or don't have to do. If you want in your personal life or at your job or anywhere you want, all right? So the idea is for you to talk about it, okay? Think about those things. So I'm gonna open up the groups again so you may go back and talk about it. Carla. Carlita. Carla Beatriz. Hi, teacher. Carla, I'm sorry. Um, can you be? Can you work with Carla Joana because she's by herself? Uh, yes, it's okay. Do you have the invitation? Uh, uh, no. Well, I I accept, but yeah, and you went to Franklin's and Osmani group, right? Yes. All right, just give me a second. I'm going to send you back to uh, Exa's group and then I'm going to work with Carlita. Don't worry, because I cannot um, send you to her. I don't know why. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Did you, did you get the invitation again? Hi, Carla. Hi, Carla. Hi, hi. 
Hi. No, All right, guys. No, I'm here with you. I don't know what happened to Sofia. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, that's okay. All right, Carla. So tell me, what can you do? Tell me the things that you can do at your work or in your personal life. I can sing. Okay. I can dance. Ah, very nice. And I can write a, a picture. You can draw, draw pictures? Draw? draw? Okay. Uh, I can uh, ride a bicycle. Mm, nice. uh, the roller. All right. <laughs> yes. You're very active, Carla. Very good. All right. Yes. <laughs> what can't you do, Carla? Um, I I can have a patient. <laughs> oh, you can. Okay, you can't be patient. Oh no, Carla. <laughs> All right, okay, something else? I can uh, fly the comet, I don't ah, A know. kite, a kite. No, fly the comet, the, the, the comet. Yeah, uh -huh. you cannot fly a kite. Ah, a kite, yes. A kite, oh, ah, yeah, me neither. <laughs> All right, very good. All right. Yes. Okay, um, what are you allowed to do? Uh, what do you mean allowed? Like, um, permitir. Que está permitir, que, que es, pues, um, es como poder, pero no de habilidad, sino que, de que está, que está permitido hacer usted, de a qué le permiten hacer o qué no le permiten hacer. Ah, uh, for example, in my shirt, okay, uh, I I can uh, I allowed. I am allowed. Yes, I'm allowed. I am allowed to uh, mm -hmm. drink beer. Oh yeah, no, Carlita, you you're not allowed <laughs> to drink beer. No, of course not. All right, very good. <laughs> what else? You're not allowed to. Uh huh. What else? Um. Uh, when, when I was a child, child mm -hmm. my father I loved um, sleep in other house with oh, my friends. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, you were not allowed to sleep over. All right, very good. Okay. <laughs> and and my mom, I love. Um, cook. Okay. When I had uh, six or seven, eight. All right, all right. So when you were that age, very good. Now, what are you allowed to do now? Now that you're an adult, all right. What are you allowed to do now? I allow. I allow. I am allowed to. Uh huh. I am allowed to. Uh, anywhere to go uh, anywhere. No, eh, siempre mis padres o o ya lo que me permito yo. Yeah, well, whatever. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, because I am louder to whatever thing. <laughs> uh, how to do? <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes. Because I work and I. Mm -hmm. I you have, have your money. <laughs> two years old. I have right. the money. <laughs> yeah, of I have family. <laughs> all right, yeah, you're allowed to do many things, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right, all right. And what was the last question? I think it was, what do you have to do? What are the things that you have to do now that you're old, that you work, that you have money? I mean, what do you have to do? I have to do buy a, a one house. You have to work out? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. And but I want one the other house. I have to work hard mm -hmm. for buy. Oh, this to buy house. a house. Uh -huh. 
Yes. Oh, I get it. Yeah, you have to buy a house, so you have to work very hard, Carla. Very good. All right. Hi, Veronica. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, right now, we're talking with Carlita about the things that you can do, the things that you are allowed to do, and the things that you have to do. All right. So we're talking about like obligation we're talking about permission and we're talking about prohibition all right so uh permission is i can for example i say i can go out late at night for example i am allowed to um i don't know i'm allowed to do anything <laughs> i'm allowed to buy whatever i want all right and i have to work i have right? to work in office today. <laughs> all right, yeah, no kidding. All right. Okay, what are you allowed to do, Vero? ¿Qué está permitida hacer? What are you allowed yeah. to do? Um, maybe, teacher, what is the words for permission? For permission is can. Can I can I can drive, for example, because I have a license. I'm allowed to is like uh, the prohibition, and the obligation is I have to. I have to work today. I I can uh, disfrutar. I can enjoy. Enjoy my weekend. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Very good. We're going to go back, girls, because it's 7.30 and I need to take attendance, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, so Monday, we're going to uh, talk about the things that you can do as permission, the things that you're allowed to do as prohibition or not allowed to do. And we're going to talk about the things that you have to do as obligation. All right. So right now, I just wanted you to talk. And I was talking to Carla and Veronica about the things they can do, they are allowed to do and the things they have to do. So on Monday, we'll keep on talking about that. I'm going to take attendance so we can go. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Verónica Beatriz Celso. Present, teacher. Eh, Osmani Exaú de León. Present. All right, Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. All right, Blanca, yeah, Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Thank you, Giovanni Alberto Orantes. A Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramirez. All right. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. María Araceli González. Cinia Elizabeth Mejía. Present. All right. Where is Cinia? Berito. Yes. yes. Berito. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Hi. All right. Thank you. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. All right. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Claudia Iliana Casún. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Karen Lice Reyes. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. And I see Francisco there. Okay, guys. I'm this is Frank. Yes. Present teacher. Present. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Please, guys, work on the platform. You need to finish all the way to midterm uh, from the platform. All right. If you need help, let me know. So uh, just be patient because I have a lot of classes today, but I can help you if I have like a little space. Thank you, guys. I'll see you Monday. Thank have you. a great weekend. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.